Hello friends, I am Dr. Shivam Kotak. I just gave my practical exams. Uh, I was doing DNB at Kokila in Dhirubhai Ammani Hospital. So this video is regarding how to study during the radiology residency. Uh, so different residents might have a different approach and uh, they might give a little bit different views regarding the books to read during the residency. These are the views of me and my colleagues regarding the bo which books to be read during the residency. So first of all, like preparing for any other exam, you have to approach the radiology residency as to make a compiled version of whatever you have read. Uh, it can be in uh, any it can be in any book where you have to jot down the new new points which you read somewhere else. So you have to have a basic book and then you have to add down the uh, additional points that you read, and so that at the end of three years you have a compiled version of whatever you have read. And the most important thing is that you have to also always look at the images while reading any text because image memory is very important. So few basic books which you need to read and which you can uh, keep them as basic book could be a standard book like Granger or Sutton. Uh, Granger is preferred uh, because if, uh, I, have, I heard that the FRCR MCQs and uh, few of the foreign exams uh, give questions from Granger so they are direct questions from Granger and so many uh, people prefer Granger over certain however you can use either of them and the uh, other thing which you can read uh, especially for your practical exams is the radiology uh, diagnostic radiology imaging series by Manorama Beri or the other option which I preferred or I feel is better is the uh, handwritten notes by Navni Garg which are a very good compiled version of the um, uh, various important topics uh, which will be asked not only in exams as well as I think uh, she has covered almost everything uh, which ne needs to be read and needs to be thorough. So you can keep these notes or this diagnostic imaging series as the basic book and then you can uh, add down the uh, add the additional points which you read from Granger or Sutton or any other articles and thus you will have a compiled version of the notes at the end of three years which you can use as a uh, you, which you can revise not only during exams but uh, also uh, in, for future reference so going um, posting wise suppose for x-ray postings uh, the first book which you will need is the CLATS positioning because definitely you will have to learn how to position the patient and uh, also you will need to read physics from Christensen. Uh, the other alternative is FARS if you are going to apply for FRCR. And uh, then uh, for physics I would like to mention here that there is an uh, excellent conference which is held in Hyderabad uh, which is known as HARP. So if possible you should definitely attend that conference. and. Uh, the other book that you will need, uh, you should read for X-ray posting is Felson, which is an excellent book. It is considered to be the Bhagavad Gita of chest radiology. Uh, so it's like a, it's a very well written book. And uh, along with Felson, I think you should keep a book known as Chest X-ray Survival Guide, which is a, a compilation of short uh, selected uh, salient features of what you need to know and remember. So. Uh, it's not necessary to have all the books you can get the PDFs of few books on telegram so but uh, it would be better if you purchase few of the books which are really necessary to be read so that you can mark them and revise them and then uh, there is another book which if you don't purchase you can read the PDF it is to practice the uh, this chest radiographs and is known as principles of chest radiology by Felsen so it not only uh, it gives many cases it also uh, helps to uh, teach you the approach to the various chest radiographs there is a similar book which is uh, an excellent book uh, known as unofficial guide to 100 chest radiographs which uh, which, uh, which annotates each and every radiograph and uh, explains to you the finding for a basic musculoskeletal radiology uh, either you can refer to resnick or you can use yokum the table and uh, images of yokum are very good uh, and uh, for arthritis the approach to arthritis it's very good in a resnick 
so i think these would be the books which would be enough for the x-ray postings then coming to sonography uh rumek is a very good book and i think it should be enough and the other book which you can use for doppler references is vibel uh, i don't think you need to remember each and everything you can just go through these books very quickly because sonography is something which you can uh, learn more if you keep on doing and you get more hands on patients so that you will eventually learn and there are few very good uh, sites also to learn the basic approach for sonography uh, one of which is ultrasound pedia and also uh, you can go through the uh, go through uh, different techniques or different cases on youtube channels there are various youtube channels which show the various cases coming to the cross sectional postings uh, again in all the postings this granger and uh, certain uh, this basic book you always uh, definitely you need to read one of these books and the other books which you can use in cross sectional postings is the web thoracic radiology for chest uh, if not entire book you should definitely go through all the images and the tables it won't take much time and it is a very well written book and uh, also during the exams i would advise you to uh, revise these tables before going for the exams similarly for neuro uh, osborn's brain is a must uh, for both of these books if you can't read all the topics just uh, daily the cases which you see at least those cases and their differentials and uh, the important uh, topics which are, which which are repeatedly asked in exams at least finish uh, finish this many topics i think that would be enough uh, the other book if you have extra time which you can use is that you can go through the images uh, from uh, cross sectional imaging by haga uh, it's a haga has two volumes so reading it completely might take time so if you don't have time just you can go through the images uh, for any of the books uh, daily if you can't manage to read whatever topic or whatever cases you see you can just go through the images and the tables of that topic i think that would be more than enough uh, because the most important thing is that whatever case you see the same day if you try to read it from any article or any standard book and it gets uh, uh, impacted in your memory forever the and uh, there is one more book which i would like to recommend is the is uh, which is known by the name crack the core it is a book to crack the american board of radiology exams however it is uh, it is amazing concepts and uh, its language is uh, also like very easy to remember the things uh, there are also videos available for uh this uh, two volumes uh, which covers most of the part of this uh, book you can get the link to these videos on telegram uh this this books are known by the uh, i have been uh, written by a uh, by, by an author by the name prometheus lanhart and then um, other thing which i would like to add is that you can uh, maintain a diary uh, a, sm- a small diary in which you can just uh, daily uh, you can just uh, write down the cases which you see daily and then go back to your room or uh, to the library and just at least give dedicate at least 15 to 20 minutes for the new cases or for the doubts that you faced during your uh, uh, during uh, during your working hours and the other thing which i would like to add is that uh, there are few other conferences which you can go during your residency uh, especially before your practical exams uh one of which is a radiology residents hot seat review course uh, which is conducted in apollo indraprastha delhi and uh, the star radiology conference at stanley medical college as well as there is a dnb practical mock exam conducted by dr akhil halkode i think in pune and delhi just before the exams so i think at least two of these you should attend these definitely help you before the practical exams regarding the approach and how the exams are going to be conducted uh, so that's it um, at least one standard book either from uh, granger or sutton one basic book uh, the diagnostic radiology series by manorama beri or navni garg's notes and then crack the core these three uh, books uh, i think these are must for your residency the rest of the books which i told uh, will help you if there are any doubts kindly uh, you can ask us in the comments section thank you 
please like, share and subscribe for more such content.